Good afternoon and welcome to our Facebook Live video. We are coming to you from the historic Gregor Building on the ACFE headquarters. And today we're going to talk about our 90-day challenge, which is going to kick off in just a few days. We're also going to be answering some common certification questions that we get. Uh, my name is Ross Prime, the membership director here at ACFE. And I've been with ACFE for about 12 years now. Uh, I've had the honor of being the membership director for about five. And I'm really excited to kick off another 90-day challenge and to welcome another group of CFEs into the ACFE family. Uh, and with that, I will let my talented colleague introduce herself. My name is Melissa Broccolo. I'm the certification manager here at the ACFE. I've been with the ACFE for a little over eight years, and I'm also excited about the 90-day challenge and to answer any of your questions. So I think we want to start off with the, uh, talking about the 90-day challenge, kind of talking about what it is, why we started it, uh, and then answer some questions. So if you have questions and you're watching this live, feel free to type them in the comment box and we will uh, work to answer as many as we can while we're here live. Otherwise, we'll respond directly to you and answer those questions later. So one of the reasons we started the 90 Day Challenge is we realized that professionals are busy and you have a lot of stuff going on. You are uh, busy with work, you're busy with family, you have social lives. There's a lot of stuff going on that uh, can pull you in different directions. And so sometimes taking the time to sit down and study for the exam is difficult. So we decided to create this group and it's inside the ACFE community. So what we're doing is it's a special group with uh, special access for just those individuals that sign up for the 90 day challenge. And it's a way to come together as a group so that you can be uh, held accountable. And then also you can uh, be with a group of people who are on the same journey as you. So they're looking for the, the same type of motivation and encouragement, and you can be a person that can provide that for them, or you can receive some of that motivation and encouragement in order to pass the CFE exam. So it's not just the motivation and encouragement as a part of the 90 day challenge. We also have dedicated resources, um, including study plans and video tutorials. Um, you'll also get motivation. So uh, every Monday we'll be posting tips and uh, motivation to try to keep you engaged and active. Um, you know, another thing that we're uh, going to be doing and another good, really good thing about the 90 day challenge that I mentioned is that sense of community. And in our most recent 90 day challenge, I was really inspired and motivated by the fact that people would feel free to post that they were having issues or that um, there was a particular section that was tripping them up and other community members would come in and they would say, uh, you know, you can do it. They would provide them with that encouragement and that support. And I really was inspired and saw how it kept people on track to earning their credential. And what is really impressive about that is that sense of community. And we are able to foster that through amazing members that come and join this challenge and participate. I agree. We have a lot of members that are very involved, they're very active, and they've been through the same struggles. We talk to members every day. There's a lot of inspiration out there. So this 90 day challenge in the community is a really great way to motivate yourself and to kind of stay on track. So this is part of the reason that we started the 90 day challenge. Um, so, and one of the things that we'll do is we'll provide as a part of the study plan is we'll provide certain milestones to keep you in, uh, active and make sure that you're hitting those marks. So the challenge will kick off at the beginning of April. Uh, we'll send a welcome email to everybody that's participating, letting them know that the group is open and you can go in, introduce yourself, take time to uh, introduce yourself to the group and really kind of get to know everybody. Uh, and then we'll also uh, provide, send those, um, those tips and, uh, but we have those other deadlines that are going to go on. So we start off April 1st, May 1st, uh, we'll encourage you to, you know, complete a couple sections of the exam, submit your exam application, do that type of stuff to keep you on track so that you can take and pass the exam at the end of June. So that's our goal. We're trying to make sure that everybody will take and become certified by the end of June. Uh, one of the things that we want to make sure to talk about is the way in which you study for the exam. We get uh, questions and people ask, you know, how, how do they study for the exam? And so the most common ways people study uh, are either using the fraud examiner's manual, and that's a pretty daunting way to study, but it is definitely a way that people go through that 2000 page manual and use that as their main resource in order to study for the exam. 
Although the most common method and one that we find is a lot of success is the prep course. And that's that self-study software that you receive. And there's 1,500 sample questions on there. There's four practice exams. And what it does is it allows you to answer questions. You'll receive the answer, uh, um, the correct answer. Whether you get that question right or wrong, it's still gonna give you the correct answer and then provide you with a short explanation. And if you need a more in-depth explanation, that fraud examiner's manual is also on that, uh, that software. So you can just bounce over to the fraud examiner's manual and, and read a more in-depth explanation on that particular topic. Another way people commonly study is to use the, uh, the review course. And so that's an instructor-led event. Um, those, we have those uh, you know, all over the world, and you can sign up for those. But this 90-day challenge is really a way to use the prep course and then use that group in order to um, keep you on track and study for the exam that way. Uh, another thing that we get a, a lot of questions about, I think, is the certification process. And, uh, you know, lucky that Melissa is here and has all that experience so she can really kind of dive into the certification process and, and uh, you know, kind of talk to you guys about that. Um, one of the very, probably the most common question is, uh, can I use my prep course on more than one computer? And the answer is yes. If you're using the online prep course, you're able to use it from any device that has an internet connection. And it automatically saves your progress. So you can flip from work to home to a laptop. Some people I've even seen study on their iPad. So it, yes, you can use it on more than one device. Another question that we get about the certification process, in fact, one of the questions that we got from the Facebook, Facebook group was, how much experience in the field do you need to take the certification or have the certification? In order to obtain the certification, you'll need at least two years of full-time professional work experience in a field that is related to the detection or deterrence of fraud. And you have to have a minimum of 50 qualifying points you get points through education and experience. So for example, we award 40 points for a bachelor's degree and two, excuse me, five points for each year of full-time professional experience. So if you have a bachelor's and at least two years of experience, that's your 50 points right there. You can get certified after passing the exam. Probably, I think one question that we've seen a lot in the Facebook group and in the community is, uh, when am I supposed to apply for the exam? When do I need to start that process? Um, a lot of people, I think we actually have a target goal of May 1st for applying for the exam. Um, we really highly, highly recommend you apply about uh, 30 days before you're ready to take it. Um, the online application process is very, very simple, and it's the most common way that people apply. You go online to acfe.com slash CFE exam application, fill out a quick application. It's really simple. It'll just ask you a couple of questions about yourself. You can pay online. Then you go to the certification portal. That's where you're going to upload your documentation. You'll need three recommendation forms from people that you've worked with professionally, a colleague, a coworker, manager. You'll also need proof of education, a bachelor's degree. You can use your diploma or your transcripts. You want, we need a current photo of yourself. And then you'll also put in your details about your fraud-related work experience in that portal. And what we redo, what we do is we actually review each piece of documentation manually. So it does take us a little bit of time to review it, but as soon as you're approved, we're going to send you an email that says, hey, you're good to go, you're ready to take the exam. And then you can actually request your exam key. That's another question that we get, well, how, how long does it take to get the exam key? So if your application is good, if you're approved, um, you request the exam key from within the prep course software. There's a little link that says request exam activation key. Click on that link and then it sends us a notification that you're requesting the key. Um, we review those to make sure that you're approved to take the exam. And if you are, we send you an email with your actual examination key and instructions on how to enter it. That normally, I would say for the most part, it's no more than one to two business days. Um, it sometimes could take a little bit longer. That's um, one of the reasons that we say, go ahead and get your application in as soon as you can. Once you receive that exam key, you don't have to enter it right away. A lot of people think, I've got my key, oh shoot, now I gotta go. But the good news is, 
if you get it on Monday and you don't want to take the exam until Thursday, you can hold on to it. Once you enter the key in and activate the exam, that's when your 30 day window begins. So those are some of the kind of questions that we get about the actual certification process and the exam application process. And I think Melissa makes a really good point about the uh, exam key. And that's one thing I want to make sure to mention is that when you request that exam key, just know, like Melissa said, we turn those requests around, you know, quickly. Um, but I want to make sure that, you know, just make sure to do a little bit of planning. Uh, so don't, you know, submit an, your request to get the exam key on Friday afternoon because you were going to take the exam that weekend. You know, just make sure to do a little bit of planning and request that exam key a few days before. So if you want to take the exam a particular weekend, you know, send us that request to take the exam uh, maybe at the beginning of that week. Like Melissa said, you can hold on to that and not enter it into the software until you're actually ready to sit down and start taking the exam. Yeah, we've got a great certification staff upstairs and they work really, really hard to bust out a lot of keys. So, um, so yeah, we, we do a good job upstairs. Uh, so one of the other questions we received about the 90 day challenge was, you know, what study materials um, or resources are included, you know, with this challenge. And uh, I think that's where we are, you know, work hard to provide resources. Uh, so I mentioned those study plans, you know, those kind of detail out the, the, the important deadlines that we really want you to hit uh, as you're moving through this 90 day, uh, this 90 day challenge. We've also created a study plan um, to really break down how many uh, questions you need to answer per day um, in order to get through all of those 1500 sample questions. And so I think that's one thing that is a, is a nice little resource that if you know, if you want to be able to study every single day, then you know, how many questions do you need to answer? Well, we've already got a, a spreadsheet that breaks that down for you that you can utilize as a part of the challenge. Uh, you know, whenever I went through the process, I used my lunch break and I made sure to spend an hour a day throughout the week in order to, to, to study for, uh, for, the, uh, for the test. And I thought that was a great way to do it. Other people might not be able to do that. Maybe they can sit down and spend several hours on a weekend. But you know, that study plan that we created has uh, a variety of different scenarios and, and whatever works best for you. There's also some, uh, some video tutorials in there as well. So if you need help um, on uh, accessing the, the prep course software, you need help setting uh, deadlines, there are some tutorials in there to show you exactly how to do some of those things. And then another thing that you get as, uh, as a participant of that 90 day challenge is we will be giving away an exam fee uh, application. So if you hit some of these important deadlines, uh, then you'll be entered in uh, to win basically uh, a free exam fee. So uh, now we're going to ask you to hit some of those deadlines and, and as a 90 day challenge participant, you'll receive the, the communications, you're participating in the group, we're going to be sending out those emails or, or posting in the group um, and you'll, you'll have notice and you'll have access to it so that you can, uh, you can enter that raffle as well. One question we got was, if I've already participated in a 90 day challenge, can I still join this one? And the answer is, yeah, absolutely, you can. Um, this is really a way to challenge yourself to get through the prep course, finish the exam in 90 days. And hopefully the community will be really supportive and you'll see that there are other people that are on this journey along with you. You'll kind of see that they're going through the same things you are. So yes, you can. And then another question we received was, um, if I want to join the challenge, which course material should I get? And the, the prep course is really going to be the, the material that you want to get in order to, to participate in the challenge. Um, you can use the Fraud Examiner's Manual. Uh, just know, though, that uh, that 90 day challenge and, and, and how we're scheduling out these, these deadlines and these timeframes are geared around the prep course. So, uh, you know, if you really want to hit those marks, then the prep course software is going to be the best way uh, for you to do that and participate in the challenge and participate in that group as well. Uh, and then the other question I think we got is, uh, can you join the challenge if I've previously purchased the course? And that would be yes. Um, you know, you need to have the prep course. If you've purchased it previously, you can definitely, uh, you know, participate in as well. Um, and another question we received was, you know, uh, when will we start receiving notifications and emails? Like I mentioned, we'll receive that, uh, that an email, um, you'll receive an email from us when the challenge kicks off, which is going to be April 2nd. So you'll, that'll be your, your welcome and introduction email, uh, and it'll encourage you to go over to the, um, go over to the, the community and introduce yourself and then start participating. Um, one question that we got from the group was, uh, how much are retake fees? 
Um, if you don't have or you don't qualify for the money back pass guarantee, retake fees are $25 per section. There are four sections to the exam. Um, the money back pass guarantee though, you can qualify by completing the prep course. You'll have to answer all review session questions 100% complete, and you'll need to obtain at least 85% or higher on each of the practice exams in order to qualify for the money back guarantee. So if you do qualify, retakes are free. You don't have to pay for retakes. And the good thing about that study plan we put together is those deadlines, those important deadlines, they, uh, like if you get those deadlines, you're gonna get the money back pass guarantee. So if you hit these deadlines, then you will get those free retakes. Yep. I think those are kind of all the questions that we had. Um, if you have any more, feel free to leave a comment and we'll, we'll uh, address those and, and answer them as, as soon as we can. Um, so thank you guys so much for, uh, for joining us today. Uh, we're excited about this new 90 day challenge and um, we're excited to get started and to, like I said, welcome another uh, group of CFEs into the ACFE family. Be sure to sign up for the challenge at acfeinsights.com. It starts on Monday, April the 2nd. Thanks, bye. Bye.